Hello everyone and welcome back to Boulder Coal. This is episode 26 and this is the end of season 1. This is sort of a season finale uh, before we'll go on a little break uh, from this series and on to the next thing. Um, talking about breaks, uh, I took one, <laughs> a pretty long one. So it's been a while since I have uploaded anything on my channel, uh, but um, Hopefully that should be a little bit better now, <laughs> probably. There are going to be massive changes to this uh, channel. I will get back to that, but uh, first of all, let me just talk a little bit about what we're actually doing in this episode, episode 26. Uh, well, we are actually doing quite a lot. We are working on the downtown of the biggest city in Boulder Cove, Boulder City. Um, Pardon me if I'm a little bit rusty and almost forgetting the names of the places in this uh, series uh, because it is a while since I have recorded um, commentary or just playing this game actually so I'm actually watching the uh, time lapse as I'm speaking uh, and I'm sort of getting surprised at what I'm seeing because it's been so long since I've been building this so um, yeah I might be surprised at what I do might not but um, anyways it's a downtown that we're gonna be working on in this one um, it's gonna be a big one it's definitely gonna be a big one a lot of popping down buildings not a lot of detail um, but um, well, there's some detail but the reason why it's not that much detail is because well there's <laughs> simply no room for it um, because it's so dense with uh, buildings in this rather small uh, city center, um, which is fine by me actually, because this series isn't really a detail driven series, it's more about hey, this looks good and it functions, you know. Uh, but what I do, what I'm doing first here is actually plopping down another interchange uh, near Boulder City, or right in the middle of Boulder City actually, um, just so that we don't get. Uh, any traffic issues actually because when you're building a very dense area like Boulder City will be um, you need a lot of connections like interchanges and you know connections to the highway and right now I think I have um, maybe I have four or I'm planning on doing four uh, connections which is a good enough number um, for a city of my size here um, but you can almost never have enough really because if you have like one or two uh, connections then you're gonna see some massive uh, traffic jams on those areas where the um, where the interchange is because everyone's everyone wants to get either into the city or they want to get out of the city um, so hopefully we won't have this uh, sort of problem uh, because this series or this city um, I am, of course, trying to make it look good, but I also want it to function. Um, I want to, you know, take a look at the city and just watching it, watching the people here just do normal things and just everything works. Um, I don't want traffic jams that last for hours. I, I want it actually to work and I want to actually make a profit, which I actually am doing right now, not on the screen, like time lapse wise. But um, I'm pretty sure, if I remember correctly, that uh, once I'm done with actually this downtown area, I'm actually making money. Now it doesn't really matter if I'm making money or anything, but uh, you know, it's nice to take a look at the city and actually you can tell yourself that, hey, this actually works. So this is the area where we're gonna build the downtown. Uh, I don't know if I said anything about this earlier, um, of, you know where the downtown might be because um, I was thinking of having it sort of more inland but then it sort of made sense to put it maybe more uh, towards the coastline because you see with uh, a lot of um, coastal cities in the US that they do have their uh, downtowns or like city centers historical city centers close to the water because you know when uh, the city was first settled they would of course settle near the water because you know 
they could get sheep seen, you know, they're probably a bunch of farmers, so um, that's why they want to settle as close to the water as possible. And you can see that on, you know, most major cities in the world actually, that a lot of them are have their city centers right next to the uh, shoreline, whether that be a massive lake or a huge river or, or an ocean for that sake. And that's sort of what I wanted to uh, to get with uh, the Boulder City as well. The first thing I do is trying to get the um, like network working, like the road layout, and then I'm starting working on a bunch of um, I don't know if I should call them peers or wharfs. I don't really know what they uh, what's the difference, but um, yeah, I'm trying to create these sort of areas that sort of sticks out into the ocean they might be man-made they might most likely gonna be man-made uh, just by looking at them and then you know sort of the idea is that on these sort of i'm gonna call them wharfs i don't even know if they are wharfs but on these wharfs um it used to be like factories and stuff like that but as you know the city grew and the downtown grew uh, it got a lot, a lot more expensive near the um, the city center, and then of then like these factories would either be destroyed and made way to accommodate I don't know apartments or shops or like yeah or maybe they the uh, factories just got gentrified and they. Like from the outside, they still look the same, but inside they have been like re, um, yeah, revamped to be, uh, you know, become lofts or something like that. And a lot of the buildings that I use um, in this area, they are from the workshop. I thought I could uh, maybe use some of my, uh, like my vanilla assets or the assets from kind of different kinds of DLCs that I have purchased, but. Um, yeah, they they weren't too s similar, um, and they were too you know different. So I went ahead and went on a workshop. And if you're interested in what kind of buildings I'm using, then um, I do actually have the um, what's it called? Like the collection. Yeah, collection is in the description. And if you go to my collection and you go all the way down, there should be a link to another collection. Uh, which um, is sort of like, yeah, it's um, all of my skyscrapers and buildings that I used in this area, plus a few more, I think. I can't remember the name of the creator, but um, yeah, it's definitely in my uh, collection. The only buildings that I didn't find from Workshop was um, this um, sort of, oh, is it like, is it called a Space Needle? It's sort of like a replica of the Space Needle. Um, and it's vanilla. I uh, can't remember where it's from, but uh, yeah, it might be from a a DLC. I don't know. Um, yeah, actually, I have no idea. <laughs> but uh, I wanted that one to you know stand right sort of in the middle of this dense uh, downtown core to sort of be a um, like a like a landmark really uh, because. Um, uh, Boulder, Boulder City is inspired by Vancouver, but also um, Seattle, which is where the uh, Space Needle um, is. And in addition to the Space Needle, um, I also have placed down a few buildings from the um, is it called Modern Japan um, DLC or yeah, it's a, a content creator pack, I think you call. Um, that was released um, the same time as the latest DLC. I've been away from this game for a long time, but uh, what's that DLC called again? It's uh, Sunset Harbor. It was released uh, around the same time uh, of Sunset Harbor, the uh, Project Japan. And it, uh, it had a few, or all of the buildings were amazing. And I uh, actually think I almost placed down every single one of them. Uh, in this episode, because they um, they fit sort of a, a different um, niche than the buildings that I already have, because these skyscrapers that I downloaded were 
um, not that big, but they were very tall. Whilst the uh, buildings from the uh, modern Japan uh, pack, uh, they were like their footprint was like three times the size of these uh, skyscrapers that I placed down, and they fit perfectly on these uh, wharfs that I uh, was just talking about, or piers or whatever you should call them really. Now, as I mentioned in the beginning, this is the uh, season finale of um, season one of Boulder Cove. Um, so I um, I want to do it a little bit more special. So after the cinematics at the end of um, this video, or like the cinematics of what we built in this video, we're gonna have sort of like a recap. So I'm gonna have some cinematics of every town and city that we made and sort of every little big landmark as well so you can look back and sort of get a little bit more nostalgic almost uh, to you know watch what we built uh, on these uh, how many months i'm actually very interested i'm going to check it out how many months we've been working on the series i'm gonna go to my channel page i i sort of want to believe that it's a lot longer than it actually is but uh, let's see, Boulder Co episode one, 10 months ago. Yeah, so 10 months ago, almost a year. That's pretty cool. And we managed to pump out 26 episodes and we're not done either. That's the great part of it. Um, I am, um, I have been um, back in Boulder Co and sort of seen how it works and it works fine. Um, every now and then a few buildings disappear um, which is very odd since I don't really use that many buildings from the workshop but um, it works fine the only thing is it's a bit uh, yeah FPS wise struggles a little bit not because there's a lot of detail going on but it's just an insane amount of buildings it's just it's actually just insane and it's the same amount of networks in this in the sense of roads and pathways and all of that it's it's a lot going on um it's a lot of trees as well so um we we're gonna have a season two and i don't know what we're gonna do at the end of season two because i think like almost out at, at season two's end we might not actually be able to do anything more because I might not actually be able to open up the save game um, but for now it works fine um, but also I won't be really going to open the same game save game for a while because uh, a new series is um, on the horizon I have been starting to work on it um, it is very different very different I hope that uh, that's a good thing, or maybe not. Uh, but it's um, yeah a little bit more of probably what I used to do, and it is a little bit more close to home, uh, if you know what I mean. Not gonna spoil too much, but uh, what I am gonna say is that uh, I am going to sort of lean a little bit further away from. Um, regular uploads i have been fairly consistent with my uploads like um every friday and like every now and then i would you know not be able to publish uh, but then i would just go on twitter and tell my followers that hey there won't be a new episode and you know that would be fine but um with a new series i am trying a different approach because I felt very often that I would be sort of like almost like burnt out um, because I feel like this is sort of like an inner drive to like I have to upload these videos every week and it sort of stressed me out at one point and I think that is why like I at least uh, between episode 25 and episode 26 which is this one I went on a massive break and I really didn't plan to do that but it just happened because I just I did not want to open uh, and play this game I didn't want to record an audio I didn't want to do anything really so what I want to do with the next 
uh, series is sort of just publish episodes whenever they are ready. Sort of like a um, CD Projekt Red approach to things. You know, they are the ones that are making uh, the Witcher series. They're the ones that make, um, what's it called? Um, what's it called again? <laughs> Cyberpunk, Cyberpunk. They're making Cyberpunk. Um, and what's really cool about Cyberpunk that they, you know, first released a trailer many years ago, like almost a decade or maybe even more than a decade. And they just said at the end that it's gonna be out when it's ready. And I'm gonna have sort of the like same approach uh, with um, with that series, the next series. It's just I'm gonna work on it when I have time and I want to work on it. And then possibly, or hopefully, when I actually do upload, they are gonna be longer and they're gonna be a lot better uh, because I will spend a lot more time on it, like really perfecting it. And uh, I know it's like good enough or the best thing for YouTube is that you publish very frequently. Like the best thing is publish every single day, but I can't do that. So the next best thing is publish every single week. But I, um, it just, it's been stressing me out. So I'm, I'm gonna just stop caring. I, I've been looking too much at the numbers and everything. I'm just gonna stop care, I'm gonna stop caring. And I'm just gonna do what I love and I'm gonna do it right. I'm gonna make something really great and then i'm just gonna publish it not for your sake but for my sake um i'm actually really excited i'm actually getting more excited excited now uh, as i'm talking about it but um talking about talking about stuff i've been talking for too long um i'm gonna show you now some cinematics of this downtown area and then we're gonna have some cinematics of almost every single thing that we've done um, since episode one. So it should be good, it should be great. Um, sit back in and relax, I guess. And follow me on Twitter for updates on my next series. And I hope to see you when I upload that one. I can't wait. Thank you all for watching. I hope to see you soon. Bye for now. So many days is yet to come Too many times has come to pass Too many moments put aside Getting out alive Getting out alive Writing letters in the sand
big is your love.